The following content is provided under a Creative Commons license. Your support will help MIT OpenCourseWare continue to offer high-quality educational resources for free. To make a donation or view additional materials from hundreds of MIT courses, visit MIT OpenCourseWare at ocw.mit.edu. In this demo, I'd like to show how you can make a very simple optical isolator based on polarization components like a polarizer and a quarter wave plate. An optical isolator prevents laser beam from re-entering the laser cavity. Because if it does, it can create a lot of intensity variations in the laser and also a lot of frequency variations in the laser. And in a lot of experiments, this can be very detrimental to the, to the results. I'm going to illustrate this in a simple setup. Here we have a helium neon laser. Here's the beam from the laser. I'm going to reflect it, this mirror, and then reflect it again to the second mirror and let the spot fall onto the screen. Then I'm going to take a, a mirror and I'm going to place it here to reflect, to reflect the laser beam back into the laser cavity. And so in order to see where I'm reflecting the laser beam, I'd like to direct your attention to the laser head, where you can see that the reflected beam is very close to the output of the laser or the uh, axis of the, of the original laser beam. Now, I can actually put the reflection right back into the laser, and you can see a little bit of a smear. But, but for clarity, I'm going to put this spot, reflected spot, slightly off from the original laser beam so you can see what's happening. So right there. So you can see that if I block the reflection, if I block the reflection, I, I block uh, that spot. Now, I want to come to the isolator. Now, this isolator is made up of a polarizer. I'm going to place the polarizer right here. And I'm going to set the transmission axis of the polarizer, indicated by the white arrow along the vertical. And Again, if I block the, let's go back and look at the spot again. If I block the, the, the uh, laser beam, yeah, I can see I can, I can switch it off. But in the, in the presence of the polarizer, the reflected beam is still going back into the laser. Now I'll place a quarter wave plate in here. And if I set the, the polarization of the light along the principal, a principal axis of the quarter wave plate, as indicated by this vertical arrow, you can see that the reflection is still there, which means that the quarter wave plate essentially is acting like a piece of glass. And again, if I go along the other principal axis, again, the reflection is still there going right back into the laser. But if I orient the quarter wave plate at 45 degrees with respect to the, uh, the, the polarization of the light set by this polarizer, then I can, as you can see, I can extinguish the reflection. And uh, so that there's, there's always light in here where I can do an experiment. There's light here, but there is no light reflected back into, into the laser. Of course, the reason why this works is because plain polarized light coming from this polarizer here is going once through the quarter wave plate and then reflected back going twice through the quarter wave plate. So now the planar polarization is perpendicular to the original direction. So now this 90 degree rotation in the planar polarization then prevents the light from getting past the polarizer here set with the polarization vertical. And that's why this works. So in summary, we've illustrated that you can make yourself a very simple optical isolator, which is very, very useful in many experiments, using a polarizer and a quarter wave plane.